Greetings, toy heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams, the action figure show about news, reviews, collecting tips, customizations, kit bashing, everything that goes into this fun, nerdy hobby that you and I both love. And in this special episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series, Book of Boba Fett, The Mandalorian, Glavis Ringworld version. <laughs> that was a lot of words. Uh, I had this on pre-order from Hasbro Pulse because it was an exclusive and I didn't have a choice. Um, I don't like ordering from Hasbro Pulse uh, unless I absolutely have to, and this was one of those cases. So let's take a look here. We've got the Star Wars Black Series logo there. You can see uh, the Mandalorian and all his Mandalorian-iness. Sure. Uh, Mandalorian, Glavis Ring World, Warning, Choking Hazard. Stop putting action figures in your mouth, for God's sakes. Ages 4 Plus, uh, Hasbro logo on the side here. We've got the uh, collage from uh, the Book of Boba Fett series there that you line them all up and they look amazing. Um, I don't have all of them, so I can't do that. Um, on Well, yeah, on this side, we've got the Star Wars Black Series logo on the side of the package. Um, top window. Um, here we've got a multilingual blurb about the Mandalorian uh, from the Galavis Ring World. Uh, number eight in the series in the Book of Boba Fett, Jibber Jabber Legal Jargon Across the Board, ages zero to three, you know what that means. If your child is not born yet, they shouldn't play with these toys. That's right, you're welcome, Disney Hasbro. And then on the bottom, more Jibber Jabber Legal Jargon Houses of Klingon and Barcode. Gonna get him out of the box, gonna get him on the pedestal, and we're gonna have a look. And here we've got him on the pedestal. I am super excited for this because this figure has been getting some rave reviews. And uh, I'm very, very anxious to see how this is going to turn out. I was anxious to, 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 you know, I wanted to get this. I knew when they put it up for pre-order. Um, so let's jump into the accessories. First and foremost, here we have his jetpack. Um, this is obviously an upgrade. Um, I have my original Din jar in here. And as you can see, <laughs> yeah, big upgrade there uh, to this. Um, it appears to be the same sculpt. Um, I don't think that they, I don't think they, they did anything different with it as far as the sculpt. Um, it, it appears to be 98.9% .9 the same thing, except for the fact that it's really, really shiny silver now uh, to where this one was not. Um, and this is, yeah, like I said, this is the original Beskar, uh, Black Series. Um, and we'll take a look at him with the figure. So yeah, we got the jetpack, all new, bright and shiny. Uh, we have his blaster pistol, uh, which is slightly different. Uh, it still has the wood grain on the handle and the brown paint app, but this one is more gunmetal. Uh, if we bring up, uh, as you can see here... Uh, let me get that in focus. Yeah, the old one is more, way more silver than this, and this one's more gunmetal. So this this one actually looks a lot more realistic uh, than uh, or true to the uh, series than uh, than his other one does. Uh, so we have that, and then uh, for the first time ever, we have his vibro knife, um, which is kind of cool, and he's got a little place down here in his uh, boot for that but uh yeah we get his vibro knife nice and shiny silver blade there and a uh nice black metal metallic looking handle to that and then we have the dark saber uh i don't think there's really anything new to this this looks pretty much the same although i think they, they made the edges of it white instead of clear i think the previous ones at least to my knowledge, were clear. Uh, I'd have to actually look into that. I'm not, I'm, I didn't get my Moff Gideon down, so I'm not 100% sure on that. But uh, yeah, we've got the we got the dark saber, and thankfully it came out of the package nice and straight. There was no bends or anything in it, um, so that's nice. But it is flexible. Um, I don't think the blade does the blade come out of this. I don't think that it does actually never checked oh it does oh okay the blade does come out of that all right i'm glad that that did and i didn't just break it on purpose and then here we have dinjar and the mandalorian uh let's grab mr ruler here 
and uh, measure him up, and he stands at right about top of his helmet, six inches tall. Um, a lot of changes took place with this one. Uh, let me get the other one lined up here next to him. Um, one leg's bent a little bit. I don't know why that happened. Um, so we've got, uh, obviously big, big improvements here. Let me move his cape back. I got a custom cloth cape, uh, for, for mine from, uh, uh, Josh's custom capes on Etsy. Uh, so we have a uh, very obvious, there's a difference in the, the pauldrons are a little bit bigger. Obviously the whole Beskar situation is five times shinier than it was on this one. The chest plate is a little bit bigger now, more form fitting to the, it doesn't seem like it's so tiny. Uh, helmet, uh, definitely big improvement um, over the old one. Uh, this one looks way more like it did in the show. And in fact, it's got, it even has some definition to it, um, to the, uh, let's not focus on him. Uh, it's got some definition to it, uh, that the other one did not. There's like little nuances here and there. Like, uh, the, the little ridge on the top is, is different, but you can clearly see uh, major difference in the two helmets there. Uh, visor isn't as thin. The helmet's a little bit bigger, so it actually looks like, you know, there should be a head inside of it. Um, and then the big elephant in the room is that it now has a cloth goods cape, uh, which should have been done in the first place because they were already putting cloth goods with figures before this, the, the well, the old one even came out. Um, We've got that same strap uh, around, we'll sit here right here. We got that same strap around the chest, um, but in a much darker brown leather look. Um, we've got the holster, but the holster no longer has the strap on it. So like when you put the gun in that holster, um, you don't have to worry about trying to fold that thing and pop that little tab into place. It's just a holster with a gun. So that's kind of cool. Um, everything is a little bit bigger and way more to scale with this. Um, we don't have the grays and the little uh, flat pieces on the, the hanging off of the belt. And we've got a lot more silver paint apps on this belt than we did previously with the grenades over here, the thermal detonators. And um, way more detail, way more detail and shiny, shiny, shiny. I'm loving this. Um, on the knee pads, uh, they are slightly different. This one is blue instead of being that dark brown on the other one. And uh, then on this one down here, we've got those little capsules, uh, which are, again, uh, in a more darker brown uh, leather look. Going down to the boots, which uh, this boot is now actually black, and this one is brown. These were kind of both the same color. Uh, we still have that same color brown on the strap on that left boot and then going down to the bottom where the feet are now like that dark leathery brown instead of that uh, chocolate poop brown <laughs> that they were. Um, this looks pretty good, I gotta say. Um, let's, let's jump into articulation. Well, we didn't look at the back here. Uh, I think, oh, this back part's silver. I don't think that one was silver. Okay, I guess it was. So yeah, lots of, lots of new shiny silver going on there. And you got his cape tucked in here in the front um, behind the armor. So that's kind of cool. Um, articulation, we've got a, yeah, we've got a head with a ball going into the upper torso with a dumbbell going up into the neck. Uh, it does have one of those fake heads as you can, uh, as you can see, we can get that to focus. It's got one of them fake heads in there. So it's not a removable helmet one, but you could easily turn this into one if you so desire i think i'm going to leave mine as is but uh so yeah we got a, a ball going into the upper torso dumbbell going into the neck got full rotation on the head um actually pretty good down uh and not too bad on the up either and we're getting a pretty good help head tilt on there too um the pauldrons are 
O-ringed into the body. Oh, we got butterfly joints, kids. Look at that. Uh, butterfly joints at the shoulder. Full rotation on the shoulder all the way around. Um, the pauldron thing is getting in the way, but um, it's manageable. Um, arms all the way up, and these joints are super smooth. Arms all the way up to there. We've got a uh, hinge at the elbow with a swivel. Uh, we've got, uh, don't have a gauntlet hinge. Uh, we do have the wrist all the way around, in and out on the left, and then this one on the right should be a trigger finger, and it is, rightly so. Um, no gauntlet swivel on, but I guess you got that elbow swivel. Um, ball joint mid torso going from lower into the upper there behind that armor piece. Um, there is no waist swivel, but you do have the swivel at the torso there, but it is hindered a little bit by all this stuff that's on him, but he's got a lot of stuff on him. Uh, legs out to there. We have a thigh swivel right there. No drop down ball joint, but we do have, uh, it's a single knee. Okay. Single knee with a swivel and then detents on the feet and a forward rocker. I will say this, that uh, the um, the uh, the uh, hinges, the joints, uh, the articulation joints are very, very fluid on this. Um, I will say that. Um, this needs to be brought down a little bit because that tends to ride up there. Uh, let's get his... He does have the peg in his back for the rifle, too which he does not come with. But uh, if you're like me and you've done a bunch of customs, you got a few of those laying around. So we'll put that backpack, jet pack on him. And then you kind of want to drape that over to the side and kind of tuck that behind that edge. That's what I did with mine because they've got those custom capes. So we'll put that over to the side and then uh, we'll get his Dagger, where does his dagger go? And his, it just goes in his boot somewhere, doesn't it? Where did that dagger go? I thought he had a place to put that dagger in his boot. Is he not? I thought that's what that was. Where the hell does his dagger go? Wait a minute. Is it back here? Huh. Well, that's interesting. I feel like there might be something missing here. Um, is it just hang? Wait a minute. We got a little hook back here. Oh, I guess that's for the dark saber. Oh, the dark saber has a loop on it. Okay. I don't know where this blade is supposed to go. Because he doesn't have... I thought it just went in his boot. Or is that... Well, there is a little space right here. Well, I guess it's just supposed to go into that, into that boot. It's got like a little space on it. Okay. That's really strange. But they wouldn't have... I thought he had a, like a little scabbard... So, okay, so there's like a little, if you can look right there, you can see he's got like a little space right there that's made for it. It goes into that boot, so it fits in, it seems to want to go in there. Uh, and it just fits in there, so I hope that doesn't get all warped and bent up from being in there. I'll put the dark saber in his hand here. Um... Okay, so, um, pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, let's pop him off the pedestal, we'll line him up with some other characters, and we'll see how he scales up. And here we have him with the Medico Moff X Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, the Hasbro Marvel Legends series, 20th Anniversary Captain America, the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified series, Shipwreck, and the Mezco 112th Collective Batman Cape Crusader Dark Knight Edition. All in all, I'm pretty satisfied with him, um... 
don't know what to really give him. Uh, I'm going to be kind. I would give him a 7 out of 10. I'd give, I'll give him an 8 out of 10. Um, again, with the Star Wars Black Series, this is, this is one of the best ones I've come across here recently, but with the Star Wars The Black Series, they need to incorporate double knees. They need to incorporate double elbows, bicep swivels, the, everything that everybody else at Hasbro is doing with the other lines. I don't know why they're not doing that with this. Other Outside of that, um, with the limited articulation issues that you're going to get with a figure like this, I think they did a pretty good job. I think they actually did a pretty decent job replicating this. It looks way better than the old one. Actually, it makes my old one look like a turd now. Uh, but uh, it, um, yeah. And he's going to look, he's going to get front and center space up uh, up next to uh, the throne room Boba Fett. And, um, and uh, yeah, what's her face? <laughs> Boba Fett sidekick chick, and I can't think of her name. Uh, you know who I'm talking about. The, the girl in the orange and black. My God. What happens when I make this crap when I get home from work? My brain's just wanting to shut down. At any rate, yep, yeah, 8 out of 10 for this guy. He looks really good. That'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Curse, smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of my channel. You all have yourselves a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time. And until then, don't forget to get your figure on. Take care.